nice to see you here. Today I'm gonna talk about something that I haven't in a while, which is makeup. I really like makeup, I love doing my makeup, and I like talking about makeup, but I for sure don't want to be a beauty channel and I don't want to focus my videos on makeup alone, so I've been avoiding doing too many makeup related videos but still I enjoy giving you tips and tricks for makeup and I really like talking about indie brands and less known brands indie cruelty free so that's what I'm gonna do today I'm gonna do a tiny review and swatches for Real B Cosmetics and I'm gonna be showing you oh, all the lipsticks wait I can't even hold them oh, all these lipsticks oh yeah I'm gonna swatch them for you I'm gonna put them on the side. I already did here on my arm. This is a really weird position, but yeah. I'm gonna show you my arm swatches a little bit better in a moment. And Real B Cosmetics is a brand from the UK. They are cruelty free. I believe they're vegan, but I'm gonna double check and I'll put something here, yay or nay. And they are Bomb, B-O-M-B. A black owned makeup brand so if you want to support them definitely check their website they mostly have lipsticks but they also have blushes and some pressed glitters they have the traditional bullet lipstick they also have liquid not matte lipsticks they have the liquid to matte lipstick they have a bunch of colors and a bunch of different finishes so definitely check them out I ordered a couple of shades and then Real B decided to send me extra for me to review them. I have to say these are probably the most beautiful color like collection I got from a brand. I really love all these shades. They are incredible at doing dark shades. I have a bunch of black lipsticks and a bunch of dark like plum lipsticks and you get to a point that you're already repeating the same colors over and over again because they are the ones you reach more, at least that happens to me. Obviously, I prefer dark lipsticks and it's tough for me to get surprised by a color, but Real B, I think they really achieved like weird, cool colors that you don't see that often, like this, this green here, like this super dark, kind of grayish brown, I'll show you in a little bit more detail, so I'm gonna start from the shade closer to my hand, which is Temptation. Next to it, it's Badu, and next to it is Love Stone, and then Nubian Cream, Empire, Santarius, EP, and Or Noir. On top of the first four shades, I managed to find shades from other brands that I had that I thought were kind of similar to give you some reference. So the one on top of Temptation is Color Rain Marshmallow. The one on top of Badu is Kat Von D Plath. The one on top of Love Stone is Kat Von D's Wolf. And on top of Nubian Queen is Jeffree Star's uh, Designer's Blood. When it comes to the formula of these lipsticks, I'm gonna be honest, and I was very disappointed with some of the shades. The red shades, especially, are not that great. So Nubian Queen and Empire, they are so incredibly dry. Also Or Noir, so basically the ones that are they have a red undertone. Or Noir is not that bad. Empire and Nubian Queen are definitely the worst because they are so 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 dry. As soon as you put them in your lips, like you feel the moisture being sucked away and it's really hard for me to keep that color for more than a couple minutes. They're great to take photos and stuff like that, but I don't think I would wear them an entire day. I have dry lips already, so something that's like this that is very drying, my lips will look terrible, they will start to peel off. I can't recommend them unless you've never had dry lips in your life because I'm pretty sure this will dry everyone's lips. You can even see if I zoom in on the color, that the where I overlapped like the streaks when I was putting the, the lipstick on my arm look at it like they are super dry and they are wrinkly so not good for any of these you really only need one layer if you add a second layer they all 
can kind of get dry. They are on the dry side to be honest, but the other colors are nothing like surprising for a matte lipstick. Only if you add two layers or more, they will get really thick and dry, but you don't need to do it with these lipsticks because they are very pigmented and I don't think any of them was patchy with the exception of, again, the red colors and Ormar a little bit as well. But all the other colors are pretty good. I don't think they're patchy at all. So one layer is fine. And if you keep it at one layer, you're good. It doesn't get that dry, or at least I found that they are as dry as pretty much any matte lipstick. In terms of price, they are really affordable and they constantly have sales. So I really suggest you to follow their Instagram because they are constantly putting um, discount codes in there. I would advise you probably to stay away from the red shades, but other than that, go for it. They're really worth it and the colors are really good. Really, really beautiful and really different. Right, I'm gonna show you some swatches now. I forgot to mention what color I'm using right now, which is Sanitarius. I think it's probably my favorite. All right, so I'm gonna show you the swatches now on my lips and I hope you enjoy it. I don't think you're gonna see my full face anymore, so I'm gonna say goodbye and I hope you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe and to follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.